So if you watched my last pop vinyl video, you know EB Games were doing the uh, $5 pop vinyls plus the buy two get one free under I think it's $18. We have a lot to go through today from that range. So uh, let's get into that. What's up guys, Dean here. So again, I have 15 pop vinyls, which total to be $50. The cheapest pop vinyls I have really ever seen. I'm gonna do the full on uh, proper style, the way I have, you know, been doing it for years now, where I'm gonna actually show the box, show the pop vinyls. So, and I'm, I'm also going to uh, put it into pop price guide. Now, if you watched my last video, if you didn't know already, pop price guide for Australians, doesn't really make sense, uh, but it makes sense in terms of if you're not from Australia. So that's why I do it. So I'm just gonna go straight into it. There's a whole bunch of different pop vinyls from a whole bunch of different uh, places, different uh, genres, all that kind of fun stuff. So let's just go into the bag and see what I pull out first. And first we have yet another Twin Peaks pop vinyl. If you watched the last video, I had the Log Lady this time around, I have Laura Palmer from Twin Peaks, right there, number 447 in the Pop Television Collection, Twin Peaks. Again, $5 is a price uh, that this pop costs. No, it's actually cheaper, I guess, than $5 per pop because technically uh, it was two, two, uh, buy two, get one free. So about three dollars thirty a pop vinyl but for you know the sake of making this a lot easier for myself i'm gonna say it was five dollars a pop this is actually a really cool pop vinyl i don't necessarily know what's happening but she comes with this little stand she's in this like clear wrap um and the stand looks like that i've never seen a stand looks like this with a pop vinyl before uh so she kind of goes in there has a little spot for her feet that is really different for a pop vinyl. A really cool way to start this 15 pop vinyl pop vinyl journey that we're going through. So you're seeing this now. I kind of have some stuff going on. I forgot to scan uh, Laura Palmer into the Funko app. So I'm going to do that now before I forget. So let's see how much Laura Palmer goes for. And she goes for $11 on Pop Price, guys. I'm gonna add her to my collection. Next, from Stranger Things, we have Will in the 8-bit version of Will. So uh, Stranger Things were one of these series to get 8-bitified. Again, $5, just like uh, Laura Palmer, which I forgot to put into the app. So I'm gonna do that in a second here. Um, the 8-bit ones are pretty cool. You can see in the back the different ones in the set. This is number 29 in the uh, 8-bit set. I have a couple of them. Uh, I do like, they just feel like they're worth more, I guess just because of the weight of them. Uh, and I, you know what? If it works, it works. Uh, Stranger Things went to be like an 80s vibe going on, so 8-bit does definitely work. I love the backpack. I love 8-bit just as a genre of like games and stuff. Uh, so to have pop vinyls 8-bit, that's always really cool. So let's now scan 8-bit Will into the collection. See what he's going for. Pop price guy. Uh, so there is actually a Chase. I didn't know there's a Chase uh, version of this pop. But it goes for $9 on Pop Price Guide. And again, $5 per pop. Pop Price Guide, yet again, is more for the American market. But it's still relevant one way or another. All right, next is uh, Knows More from Ralph Breaks the Internet, a character that was underutilized in my opinion. I feel like I want to see a lot more of Knows More uh, in the movie. I absolutely love the Ralph Breaks the Internet. I just saw it twice in the cinemas. So uh, that in the box, I don't actually notice the details. So it kind of looks like an iPhone screen on the side, um, as well as the click here on the number, if you can see that right there. So Knows More is number 10 in the Wreck-It Ralph collection. For some reason, Wreck-It Ralph is one of the only smaller series that had its own collection number. Um, I actually have the original Ralph uh, from this set, which is pretty cool. I don't know why 
uh, they have their own number. Say if someone could tell me in the, the comment section below, it would be awesome. But yeah, I really have no idea why personally. So here's a bit of a closer look at him out of box. And one really cool little detail is his eyebrows are actually uh, stuck to his glasses. If you can see that, that's pretty cool. But one thing I'm just looking at, I feel like... I feel like, I don't think I touched it, but I feel like there's a fingerprint in his glasses. I don't know if that's a, a feature or that's just someone who was producing this, like when they were like checking it and stuff. Uh, but he's pretty cool there. Let's see how much he goes for in the Funko app. And he goes for $10. So, so far, every single pop vinyl is above pop price guide value, which it's most likely going to be for five damn dollars. All right, next from Tailspin, we have Rebecca Cunningham. Uh, I haven't actually seen Tailspin myself, I'm not gonna lie. I probably, you know, should as a Disney fan. Uh, but a really cool pop vinyl here from Tailspin, number 443 in the Disney collection. Let's hope, open her up. And get a bit of a closer look. So she does come with the, the little classic stand. She probably needs it because she has a lot of hair and very small feet. As you can see right here. A little pose that she's doing in a little book that's in her hand. Really, really cool pop vinyl. And let's see the pop price guide value. She goes for... Do, 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 seven dollars. So still, again, more, uh, more than what we paid for her, which is super amazing. I'm trying to like double stack these on my desk. Hopefully you can see that. I have a few things on my screen, so I can't technically see if they Anyway, I hope you guys can see the ones that I've already taken out. Uh, next, we have a Star Wars pop vinyl. This is L337 uh, from uh, Han Solo's film solo a star wars story i completely forgot what it was called there uh, so i had to kind of like throw a bunch of words together i don't remember this droid that much i mean i do but i don't i don't know it's hard to explain number 245 in the star wars collection i kind of remember this part uh, not this part this droid but i just i don't know that that movie i need to watch it again to kind of remember a bit more now i think in my last video where i unboxed these gold ones i found out they were stuck to the stand and i believe if i'm not mistaken yes it started with these pop vinyls so you actually can't i think it's actually glued to the stand which is beyond me that's just crazy in my opinion but here is l337 the first bubble head of the set uh, it's very small body, so it kind of makes sense to be stuck to a stand. But at the same time, I would like to have that, uh, you know... I'd like, I'd like to have the opportunity to take it off the stand if I needed to for whatever reason. First five down, ten more to go, guys. Oh, I didn't check the, the value. Uh, usually, unless it's a very rare Star Wars pop vinyl, it's most likely going to go for about seven dollars also uh funko app l337 11 dollars not too bad you can still buy this pretty much everywhere most of these pop bundles you can buy everywhere because they are they're pretty new i was very surprised that these were five dollars per pop because yeah pretty new pop bundles all right our next one is also from disney this is demona i believe it is pr pronounced uh from gargoyles and again another disney pop vinyl from a series that I have uh, never watched a series a movie I didn't even I don't know actually number 390 in the Disney set Demona 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 I believe is how I well I'm assuming is how it is pronounced okay I just took out the box there's no stand and her feet I believe to her her feet are tiny, and I guess her tail is meant to help her stand up. But, uh, yeah, I'll show you what happens when I try to put on the table. Now, I really like the wing design and the hair. The hair is actually really, really cool. Uh, but the tail is kind of 
I mean, it, it stands up, but if you move it, it will fall. So, good luck. If you have her, I didn't even price her. Demona from Gargoyles is $13 in the Funko app. So if I check my collection, I should be at, yes, $2.96 right now. Uh, so, very shortly, we're going to hit the 300 mark. I was going to go for like a special pop vinyl for my 300th, but uh, there's 15 in here. So that's not going to happen. Next up, another Disney pop. We have, it's like I don't know what's in here. I do know what's in here, but I guess because it's so many, I forget which one's next. Uh, actually, I didn't remember seeing this one. Uh, from the Emperor's New Groove, we have Pacha. Pacha, Pacha. I don't personally remember. I haven't watched the Emperor's New Groove in forever um just, that's just a bad you know a bad this is fan on my behalf 358 in the collection <laughs> it's pretty cool okay i guess like his, his mouth uh it made me laugh for some really weird reason um there he is right there not too much to go off he doesn't stand up though oh yes he does i guess i know how to put him down uh pricing him up in the app Eleven dollars, another uh, basically retail pop vinyl. I'm quickly losing space on my desk, so that was a uh, two ninety seven in my collection. Two ninety eight in my collection from the Seattle Seahawks. We have Brian Bossworth, uh, not a player that I really know, but again, five dollars. Brian Bossworth. Uh, I don't know where he plays or much about him. He does have a big rip on this corner, which is a shame. Uh, I'm sure you can see that there. But, you know, $5, you could pretty much sell this out of box and probably still make more money. Wow, he's got a weird looking hairstyle. Uh. That's him there. His hair is really well detailed. Um, but yeah, just a very weird. It's almost like Hawkeye's hair. Uh, great detail with the, with the jersey and stuff. Something you've come... Even the, the little studs on his feet are really, really cool. Uh, something you come to expect with pop vinyls these days. So let's scan him up in the app. Bam, and he goes for $10. Uh... He is, yeah, still available. I thought, it was gonna say, I thought it said vaulted for a second there. It did not. All right, I think that's about all the ones I can put on that side. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna pull the bag down there and start a new line on the other side. So next up, we have from Doug, yet another Disney. Uh, we have Skeeter Valentine. He's a 2018 summer convention exclusive Skeeter Valentine right there. <laughs> a convention exclusive, if you guys didn't know, goes for, when it comes out, $25. So I have Skeeter Valentine for $5. $20 off the original price. It's amazing how many of these are Disney. So we got one, two, three, four, five. I'm counting Star Wars as Disney. Five, six out of the Three, six, seven, eight, uh, Disney. Skeeter Valentine. Not a character I, I remember from Doug. I mean, I remember Doug. But yeah, Skeeter Valentine. Let's get a nice close-up of him. Right there. Very cool. Very cool. The nose is pretty cool. Never thought I'd say that out loud. Cool. Uh, and he goes for $21. Wow, San Diego Comic Con FYE exclusive. Wow, twenty one dollar dues. And see him right there. All right. Next we have one from Jim Henson. A little bit different. We have Wembley with Cotter Pin. Uh, this is from Fraggle Rock. Uh, the I think it was like thirty fifth anniversary, thirty five years. Yeah, Fraggle Rock. Um, so they all came with a little different miniature pop. Uh, I don't know too much about Fraggle Rock personally. Um, but I just love the, the miniature 
pop vinyls in boxes. I'll show the back, the other ones in the collection that you can get. Uh, number 521 in the pop television uh, collection. So obviously a TV show. First I'll show you Wembley, who is wearing the most adorable shirt I have ever seen. Uh, this is, you know what, this has been done really well. Like the sculpt is different enough that you can tell it's like from its own kind of series, but obviously still close enough to a pop vinyl. And then we have uh, Cotter Pin, which is the miniature pop that comes in the box, which is absolutely tiny, but still packed with details right there. And guys, I just realized uh, this is gonna be my 300th pop vinyl in my collection. Once I scan it in, you ready? Kaboom. It goes for $13 right now. It's still available, not not vaulted or anything like that. But um, yeah, Wembley, congratulations. And uh, a little cut a pin. Cut a pin, I believe is how I pronounce it. 300th pop vinyl right there. All right, next up we have someone, one that I thought was not what I thought it was. Um, I thought this pop vinyl was a uh, bad Santa. It wasn't. Uh, this is from Trading Places, the movie. This is Santa Louis or Santa Louise, Lu Louis, Louis, Santa Louis. I think it's Santa Louis. I have no idea to be honest. So uh, there's, a, there's a collection right there. Again, I thought this was Bad Santa when I first saw it. So this uh, is going to be a pop vinyl that I put out when I, you know, when it's Christmas time. Um, I have Mickey Mouse as one of my pops that are the Christmas time kind of pops. I think I think it's Lewis. Lewis Winthorpe the third is like the the actual guy, and then Santa Lewis is. When he dresses up as Santa for something. Um, yeah, I personally do not know. But he's... I love the fact that he's... What is he holding? I think he's holding... Like, he's eating something. Um, and then his, like, beard is, like, half off his face. Because, obviously, it's a fake beard. Um, but they've actually even added the little gap on his face. Super cool right there. Making sure he stands up. How much does he go for? Let's find out. $16. That's really cool. Uh, wow, that's more than I, you know, more than a few of these other ones. I think the uh, most expensive one so far has been Doug. Sorry, not Doug. Uh, Valentine, what was his name again? Skeeter Valentine from Doug, right there. Next, we have a Rick and Morty pop vinyl. This is... Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this character's name. This is Hemorrhage. 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 I don't really know. Anyway, uh, let me know. Comment section down below. Rick and Morty Pop. Rick and Morty. I'm so surprised how many Rick and Morty Pops there are. I mean, there are. There's five there in the back, and that's only, you know, a portion of a collection. Uh, number. Jeez Louise, 3.42 in the animation collection. I can't touch my desk. I can't touch anything right now. I've never had this many pop vinyls just sitting around or standing around on my desk. Oh, it, I don't know. That's safe for the internet. My God. Okay. Um, You'll see what I was talking about in a second here. This is Hemorrhage is what I'm calling him. And that's his butt. Yep, that's that's his butt. Um, so yeah, I don't have much more to say. Except for his value. $9. I was not expecting that, to be quite frank with you guys. Next up, we have Monkey. Uh, from Kubo and the Two Strings. Or Kubo? Kubo? I think it's Kubo and the Two Strings. Uh, a movie I haven't actually seen, uh, but this is Monkey, which I'm assuming is a main character since he's one of the three pop vinyls from the series. Um, I don't know 
too much about Kubo or the monkey, but he is number 652 in the movies collection. Let's get him out. If there is not a flocked monkey, at least at some point, I will be very surprised. So let's give you a nice close up of him. He definitely needs a flocked version, if you ask me. If there isn't already. And that, look at that sword. How cool is that? Like you don't, I didn't even see that from the beginning. Uh, very, very cool right there. He is pretty heavy. I don't know. Is he heavier than Will? No, he's not heavier than Will. But he is still pretty heavy for a pop. He has a bit of a weird bottom. So he kind of... I don't know if you guys even see that. He kind of uh, rocks a little bit. Let's see how much he goes for. He goes for $10 on the uh, Funko app. Any Funko app. Alright. Very cool. Let's put him right there. Two more here. From Saga. I think I had... Did I get one Saga one in the last video? I think I have one other Saga pop. This is Prince Robot the 4th. Um, who was a TV screen. Or a monitor of some sort. It looks like a TV screen. Oh, I'll show the pop right there. My arm is getting so sore from doing this. Because if you look at the, like this is like, this is what I'm doing with my arm. Like it's it's such a weird angle. Uh, there's the other ones in the saga line. Number nine in the comics collection. Number nine. Wow. Um, this is actually really cool. It has little antennas, which you'll see in a second here. But this is Prince Robot the Fourth. Look at those antennas. How cool is that? I think you can do some like cool customization with this guy. Like puts like stuff on this on the screen. Just a a weird idea. The question is, would you want to customize him? Because how much does he go for in the Funko app? He goes for oh, is there there is a ECCC ECCC exclusive version where he has like a crack screen. And it's all in black. This is not that version. This is a regular version, which goes for thirteen dollar doolies. Let's put him up here since uh, we lost our football dude. And finally, leaving the last to last. This is in no particular order. This was from Marvel's Contest of Champions in the Pop Game Collection. This is Guillotine. Um. I'm not too sure about guillotine, but uh, there are some actually really cool pop vinyls in this line. How the Duck right there is one really, really cool one. Uh, but if you're a guillotine fan, here is uh, a closer look at her, her pop vinyl. Now she is a bobblehead, I guess because she's Marvel, uh, even though it's Marvel Games. She does have a stand. It does have two holes in the stand. One smaller and one... Ow, that sword is sharp. One smaller, one larger hole. Sometimes with these double hold ones, you kind of have to like... Oddly push their legs apart. Uh, but here is Guillotine. I feel like the, the mold on the back of this... Uh, what's it called? The hood that she's wearing has been done before. I feel like I've seen it before, but the, the amount of detail on the armor, especially all those like, little green spots around, has been done really, really well. There we go there. So, all in all, I think pretty much most of these are just your average retail pop. Let's uh, quickly scan this one into the app before I go any further and say what I was going to say. But, yeah, $9 for guillotine right there. Oh, I left a sticker on it that has a $15 sticker, which was its older price. Uh, yeah, so the most expensive out of all of these ones, these 15 uh, was uh, Skeeter Valentine right there. Let's try and get a little, uh, whatever his face was, something rather, something mobile uh, right there. Okay, with that being said, I don't want to leave you guys uh, on this video any longer than you have to be because it has been a long video. I have to go put all these pops back into their boxes to store them until I finally have the courage to redo my outdoor area. 
uh, outdoors and out of this room. Uh, but guys, if you did enjoy, uh, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and click that bell icon to be notified when I bring out new videos. I promise to you my next video is not a pop vinyl video because I'm sure you've seen enough of these. Uh, I've made that many pop vinyl videos in, in the last few weeks that I have reached 300 before my birthday. Technically you're watching this on my birthday, but I have officially, officially reached 305 pop finals. I did it. Well guys, on that note, I'll catch you in the next one. Again, it will not be a pop vinyl video, but until then, stay safe, and I'll see you then. Nice. If I say then one more time, it'll sound very awkward. Peace.